after my shift's over. I think I'll head down to that cheap tavern by the arbor. First time in months. God, yes, I can't wait. I'm so sick. Greetings, brother. What? Who's there? God damn it. You gave me a right scare, mate. Where in the Seven Hills did you come from? The Shadows. Step aside, I'm late for the assembly. Right, of course. Blood and land, brother. We'll keep this simple. The obvious answer to blood and land... I'm not going to just keep guessing. Sooner or later, even this brainless fool will see through my veil and call on the guards. My apologies. Wrong backyard assembly. You people ought to be ashamed of yourselves. How dare you put this muck on my door? Just because I'm human don't mean I'm interested in your specious propaganda. I've lived next door to Dolmari most of my life, and they've never once done me or mine any harm. Here's what I think of your so-called humanist rally. And your honor Hillarist can go fuck himself. He's a traitor. You all are. When the Azadi finally pack up and leave, we will remember what you've done. Be sure of that. It's been torn into three pieces. going on in there. Them bad-mouthing magicals like they're the problem. The magicals have always lived here. It's the Azadi who've upset the balance of things. You ought to be more careful speaking ill of the Azadi. The walls have ears. Oh, what are they gonna do? Ship me off to one of their re-education camps? I'd like to see them try. They might throw you in Thryer's Keep. They wouldn't dare. They respect women, that lot. At least they've got that going for them, unlike those National Front traitors in there. Mark my word. The moment the Azadi leave, the Resistance will hunt down every last one of them and string them up on the city walls. Excuse me. Balance! Where did you come from, eh? I didn't even see you. What do you want? I don't want no trouble. That piece of paper you tore. Do you have the other half? What piece of... The National Front Flyer? Why? Who are you? Someone who's on your side. Well, I don't know. You sound Azadi to me. What do you want that flyer for? Long story. I need it to find a traitor. A traitor to the rebel cause. Oh, right. Well, if it means getting back at that National Front filth, then by all means. Take it. And Balance bless you for standing up to those bastards. Step aside, brother. God! You snuck up on me. Blood and land. 
The imp will keep this simple. The obvious answer to blood and land is... I'm not going to just... The important thing is not what I say, but how I say it. I must appear forceful and show that I belong... We'll keep... Blood and land. Yeah, all right. Wait, that's my line. What's the passphrase? Blood and... You don't belong here. This is a private gathering. Honor and humanity. It's the slogan used by the National Front. That must be the passphrase I need to get into the meeting. Step aside. God! He snuck up on me. Blood and land. Blood, land, honor and humanity. Faith and family, brother. Go on through, mate. The meeting's already begun. If you haven't seen Mr. Illyris speak before, you're in for a proper treat. That man is an example to us all. Brothers. Sisters. Cousins. Brave. Humble human folk. Welcome to this meeting of the National Front for Faith and Family. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for coming here tonight. Thank you. Thank you for the generosity of your time. Thank you for braving these ill-lit occult courts in your tireless search for truth. Yes. Oh, yes. Despite the selfless work of our benefactors, the enemy lurks out there. In the shadows. Look about. Look. Ship, the magical, that subhuman immigrant, the dark necromancer and warlock, will be banished from our home. There's nothing unusual. The hoods are probably to protect their identities. To play once it never bodes our well for a movement when its members are afraid be to be seen. Nothing in particular stands out. I'm too far away to get a real sense. The hoods are probably to protect national front members. Of the All of them. Nothing in particular the stands out. Nothing in particular. I'm too far away. To... There's nothing herbs. unusual. I'm too far away to get a real Thank sense you. of that person. <laughs> Thank you His all right for coming. Is the mark of a heavy thank you. Her hands are rough, oh, yeah. with thank scores of thank small you, cuts. Thank you, thank you kindly, thank you. No, no, it's important that we stand together, hand in hand with our benefactors. Yes, yes. I speak regularly with the Azadi. I visit the tower often. I, I've even broken fast with On our morality, Sami Rami. He leads this national no. front for faith and family. No one says we have to abandon our gods. No, 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 no. no. The light of the goddess is about acceptance, approval, smiles upon all good humans. Our, our common enemy is the filthy immigrant, the necromancer, the demon, the magical. That's what this is all about. It's about fighting the magical infestation. It's not about which gods we do or do not worship. No, 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 no. The Azadi are nothing if not open-minded. They'll never curtail your right to worship your gods of old. But of course, the, the goddess represents the truth and the light. She symbolizes the fight against the magical, that sorcerer. To embrace her light is to embrace humanity itself. Thank you again for coming. Thank you. May you walk in the light, cousins. And remember, vote Hilaris. Vote Faith and Family. Vote National Front. Honor Hilaris. He leads this national front for faith and family. Might be. Pardon me, mistress. I'm looking for the stunt widow. 
I'm glad you stoned. Who are you? I... I knew your husband. He was a brave man. Knew him? How did you know him? We met in Friar's Keep, mistress. On the night of his death. He saved my life. I'm sorry I could do nothing to save his. You saw him? That evening? He asked me to visit you. To tell you that he... he loves you. And then you left him to be tortured to death by those bastards. I swore not to take an innocent life. They told me he begged for death. You could have granted him a clean and honourable journey to the night side. But instead you just left him there. Don't talk to me about honour. You have none. Leave us be. Where have you been? Where have you been? At a national front meeting, identifying your turncoat. Uh, it takes a traitor to find a traitor. Think you can point him out for us? I can. Go on then, before we lose him. Midnight snack. I have several sturdy cheeses. I you don't sandwiches. Like customers. Keep me in mind next time you pick. Nibbles. Scrub. The magicals keep their heads high despite the Azadi threat. It's a testament to their I've got the non magical medicine. No potions or spells. Sorry you couldn't find what you were looking for. He smells faintly Exotic of oils, foreign herbs, soothing I sell herbs, ointments, oils, and Maybe salves. Lavender oil. All certified non-magical. Anything specific you want to He smells faintly of camphor. Oh, next time, maybe. Or the pine forest. My table's the always open, day and night. Maybe lavender oil. His skin appears red and blistered. Perhaps he spent too much time in the sun. Tell your friends. He smells faintly of camphor. Nibbles, sandwiches, tasty morsels. I've got sorted tatters from Riverwood. His so breathing is salt water brine. Wet. Tell your friends. He smells of tobacco. I've got eats from across the Northlands. So far away as it is. Is it, pal? What's happening? Help! Help! Nice shifts over. 
I think the shadows are alive. I don't like this posting. Alvik doesn't have the most sophisticated. What can I get you, my good man? Tell. And I'm sure he. I'm not here to drink, and I have no use for alcohol. I have little faith in the quality of the water in this place, but I can at least hold a cup and pretend to be drinking stronger stuff. I'll take a cup of water. Water? Why would you want to order that foul stuff? I'm afraid we serve no water here, Dar. Fish fucking that, you know. Here's your merry minstrel. Your friend. She's upstairs. Friend? Yes. Your friend. She's been waiting. You don't want to keep a woman waiting for too long. At least they're not a I should be getting home. Just one more. One more for the road. A bit of Dolmari courage to help me get started. And then I'll head home. She must be this friend Ulvik was referring to. She does appear to be waiting for someone. Ah, oh, finally. There you are. Smile. We're old friends, remember? I don't remember that at all. Who are you? I'll tell you who I'm not. I'm not with the Resistance, and I'm not a Zadi. If you're not with the Resistance and you're not a Zadi, who are you working for? I'm working for me. And I can either make your life easier, or a lot worse. This must be a mistake. The publican was clearly confused. This woman is not looking for me. Who in Shadow's name is this woman? She claims to be my friend, and then she threatens me. Who? I will have your name. You will have my name. So forceful. So like a caged animal. You're a popular man, Kian Aldane. Apostle. Everyone wants a piece of you. I hear there's even a bounty on your head. I'm afraid you've left me at a disadvantage. I'll leave in the battlefield. I have as many names as I have friends. And enemies. Some call me Anna. What do you want from me, Anna? I like the emphasis. You're a clever boy. I want your assistance, but not right now. You're meeting someone. I'd hate to get in the way. How did I just you... wanted a chance to introduce myself, and now I have, so it's time to leave. Let me up sometime. You can find me at this table most evenings. If not, Olvik can pass a message. Big man behind the bar. Wears an apron with a cock, a rooster, and a kitten on it. Can't miss him. Be seeing you, friend. Wait. How did you see through my veil? What? You shouldn't be able to recognize me on sight. Unless you know me intimately. I don't know what you're talking about. Be seeing you, Alvani. The witch and the vicar had six shots of liquor and presently went for a walk. 
Come on, said the I really clergy. Like a man who was that? Urges, but the witch what? only wanted to Where? talk. That and... woman. Who was she? A mystery woman, huh? I don't know. I'm not a guy. I don't go looking at every woman who passes by. Liko? Uh-huh. Did you see a mystery woman? No. God, you need to get out more. Is this place safe for the two of you? What? Oh, you mean this. The face. The fur. This is a safe place. But a Zadi drink here. Oh, that keeps it all under control. Also, magicals are still allowed passage in the city as long as they have valid passes and carry no weapons. Visibly. You have passes? Sure do. But we it's... shouldn't push our luck. It's time to go. Yeah, that. Come on, Kian. You passed Liko's test. You're okay. We'll head back to HQ. Test? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, Liko? I told you I would not trust you. And now you do? No. I merely distrust you a little less. But you did well. I won't kill you. Yet. That's him being real friendly, you know. Hugs? No? Yeah, me neither. Okay, we really need to go. Come on. So what did your mystery woman look like? She had long auburn hair and light freckled skin. She dressed like a ranger. Of course she did. Your type, huh? I don't really have a, a type. Really? A guy like you, I thought you'd be super choosy. I'm not. A... God. I've not had much time for, for women in my life. Leaping leapers, are you joking? How old are you? Look at you, you're gorgeous. But how did that come out of my mouth? Leaping leapers? Nope, just nope. You do like women, though, right? Shadow, take me. Not that there's anything wrong with, you know. In fact, I could have That's set quite you up enough, Enu. I don't know. This just happens. It's a sickness. I open my mouth and. Blah! It's really disturbing. Passes. What are you doing out so late? Drinking. Dancing. Just drinking. Next time, go drinking inside the wall. We don't need your kind in our bars. <clears throat> no, uh, you're absolutely right. You really, really don't. Goodbye. Dancing? Right then and there, it felt like an appropriate answer. Tell me again about this test. I expected you to run straight to your mistresses, Alvani. You may be of some use to us. For a while. I will still kill you. Nothing you can do will ever repay your debt to my family and people. Cheerful. Debt? Never you mind, Zidling. This is between the Apostle and myself. Zidling? Really? Really? You know, I'm not actually a Zidling, right, Glumbum? I'm of age, and I've already been with several that men. Nothing again, Zidling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where is everyone? In bed, I guess. It is late. He's right. It's never this empty. Something's wrong. We should hurry. Keep moving. Well, maybe Don't know how many of them there are. <sighs> good catch, Kian. That was a good catch, wasn't it, Liko? He survived. It was acceptable. Uh, he's totally warming up to you. Thank the gods of old, our boat is still here. Ladies first. 
That means you guys. You guys were the ladies. It was a joke. Fine. I'll go first. I laughed. On the inside. You would have exploded. I don't think your body can handle laughter, Liko. I'm glad you're all back safely. How did it go? Kian was awesome. He even saved our lives. I would have caught the arrow. Yeah, I know, but Kian did, and it was awesome! Any news of the Informer? Alvani did. We brought him here for questioning. Was that wise? He knows our location now. That won't be a problem for long. Maybe not for you, Liko, but it is a problem for me. We don't just execute our prisoners once we're done with them. How did the rest of your mission go? Alvani followed our instructions. He completed his task to our satisfaction. The end result was adequate. Hey, whoa. Don't get all mushy on us now, Liko. I'm glad to see that the three of you can work together. While you were away, we received some news. Bob, who can see? Right you are, ma'am. As most of you know, the first of the six has been due to arrive in Mercuria for weeks now. Well, she's arrived. Their cloud ship docked with the tower not an hour ago. And she ain't alone. The first is the Azadi's highest authority. Of course she won't travel alone. Aye, there's that, but I'm not talking about bodyguards or handmaidens or the like. No. She's got some real interesting company. One General Hani, alongside a Mother Utana. What did you say? Hani, General, Utana, Mother. Do you know them? I do. They're with the first of the six. So word has it. How do you know this? Do you have eyes inside the tower? Not inside, no. On the ground, here and there, close enough. Some tell secrets for money, or to protect their own secrets. Some are sympathetic to the Magicals. And some are unhappy with Saya and her lapdog, Vamon. They run the city still. Word is, they're internet. A sister and a soldier? That's a capital crime. Well, that. With Saya ruling the church, and Vamon, the state, here in Mercuria, there's not much anyone can do. If anyone can, it will be General Hami and Mother Utana. You know them well, then? You knew. You knew they were coming, and you knew my history with them. That's why you freed me from... Naane! Finally. What news from Miria? Liko, Shepard. The rebuilding progresses, and... Alvani, you are on your feet again. Traitor. She betrayed the resistance to save herself, and now she's come back. Don't they know who she is and what she's done? The traitor. What's that witch doing here? The traitor. This witch betrayed you all. She is responsible for the attack on the Swamp City. And for April Ryan's death. What? What are you talking about? I arrested her, last year. She betrayed you to save her own skin. She gave me the location of the Swamp City, and she lured April there. It is because of this witch that April Ryan died. You're lying, Azadi. He is not. Forgive me, Liko. Liko, stop! Please, put your knife down. 
Do not harm her. Kiat should be the one to kill her. He turned her, and he turned on her. Let him prove his allegiance now. Go on, Alfani. Do what you do best. I can't kill her. And I can't let him kill her. Even though that will shame him in front of the others. She betrayed her allies. But she had her reasons. I forced her into it. And she deserves my help now. I must do what he asks. The future of the Resistance depends on it. Step aside, Liko. I said, step aside. I will end her life. Stay. Stay your sword, Alvani. Give me a moment to think. I'm not so sure we should kill her. No, we should not. Please release her. Liko. <gasps> Put her in a cell under guard. I will speak with her later. You did the right thing, Liko. I'm proud of your restraint. As for you, Kian. He did what he was asked to do, Shepard. And without him, the traitor would still be hidden among us. I respect your choice, Kian. Even if it was not the right decision. Very well. I think we've had enough excitement for one evening. Get some sleep, we'll reconvene in the morning. You knew they were coming. The General and the Mother. That's why you sent Captain Bakim to Friar's Keep. That's why you freed me. Kian. Liko was right. You're using me. All those words about being a symbol, about being important to the Resistance. Does the one exclude the other? You are a symbol. You are a warrior. And now, you're a rebel. I knew they were coming. Utana and Hami. And I knew from our spies in Sardia that you were bound to them both. We saw an opportunity. And we sent Barkin to free you. You can see that we're desperate, Kian. Afraid, alone. Most humans have already given up, given in, become comfortable with this new world, with the Azadi. Many have forgotten about the Magicals, or chosen to forget. They carry on their lives, even if we cannot. We few are all that remains of the Resistance. If we lose, all is lost. Our lives, our hopes, our entire future. Lost to darkness. I will do anything to save my people. Make terrible sacrifices, tell lies, anything. Wouldn't you, Kian? So yes, you are a tool. And you are a symbol. Our secret weapon. The key to our survival. It's been a long and tiring day. And there's still much I need to do. We can continue our conversation another day. The first is on her way. Has she mentioned him? I don't think so. You do know she's brought General Harmy and that mother with her. Utana, it means nothing. The general was due back in the Northlands. What about the mother? She's rumored to be next in line for the seat. She wants to be involved. She was also the bleeding heart who practically raised Alvare. She sponsored his whole education. Light. She could be a problem, but what can we do? We make sure none of them know Kian is alive and with the Resistance. Mistress. Your presence here honors us. Sister Sire. This is an impressive edifice. It appears your work here has borne fruit. We believe so, Mistress. We welcome you to Mercuria and the Northlands. Anything you need, you let me know. Mother, I'm pleased to see you as well. To have the both of you here is a great honor. Quite. The Seed wants to know how the mission goes. 
how the Northlanders are handling the transition, and how many of them have chosen to embrace the light of the goddess. We will speak of this, and much more. For now, we have prepared dinner for all of you. I hope you will join me. Right. Well, I am starving. The food on those cloud ships. General, I did not expect to see you back so soon. Neither did I. What's this I hear about Kian? Yes, what of the Apostle? It pains me to inform you that Alvane died in a riot. He was detained under penalty of death until your visit, Mistress. Unfortunately, the rebels snuck their agents into the prison. They cut him down and burned his body. Goddess guide his immortal soul to the first mountain. With every respect to you and your seat, Mother, Alvane was a traitor. He betrayed the cause and he... May I remind you, sister, that the Apostle was never relieved of his title and should be addressed properly? And may I also remind you that without a proper trial and judgment by the first of the six, his so-called treason remains an accusation and nothing more. Now that he's... no longer with us, we may never know the truth. But our people will not be told that the Apostle was a traitor. Mother. How did you say he died, Commander? Uh, stabbed during a riot. They burned his body, hopefully after he would bled out. We weren't able to retake the prison until the next morning. I will need to see the keep for myself, Commander, and interview the guards and prisoners. Certainly. I shall make arrangements for you to visit in a couple of days. Don't bother, Vam. I'll go there tomorrow. You don't have to trouble yourself. I'm sure you have better things to do. As you wish, Mir. How is the engine progressing? The engineers are working day and night to connect the tubes. We expect to be able to switch it on according to schedule. Good. I have brought the final instructions from Sadir. The architect will send any remaining modifications by cloud ship. And when the Prophet returns, he will inspect the engine before we switch it on. Have you not spoken with him? Not for many months, but he will be here when our goddess-given task is complete. Only he will know how to bring it to life and to interpret the messages from the engine. Of course. Please, will the two of you accompany me to the dinner table? I'm sure the kitchen is worried the food will turn cold before we are seated. General. Commander. Until tomorrow, sister. Mother. My lady. Vam, if you'll dine with me in my quarters? Of course, Mia. Tell me again what happened. 